All right, you wanna take a look at a really cool but often overlooked neighborhood in Northeast Portland. Today we're looking at Kearns. Stay tuned to learn more. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Paul Clem with the Oregon Relocation Team coming to you from the swing set at Oregon Park in Kearns, a neighborhood in Northeast Portland today. We're gonna take a look at this neighborhood, show you why it's kind of a, a overlooked, maybe underrated area. It's really half commercial, half residential. So it's it's one of the smaller neighborhoods in Portland. So there's not a ton to offer in the way of living. Uh, you know, as far as residential development, there are some apartments here as well. There's condos in the area. So if this isn't an area where a lot of people are necessarily going to be living, why are we looking at Kearns? Well, this is a really hip neighborhood as far as the restaurants and bars that it offer that it offers in particular. So this isn't necessarily an area where you might end up living. There is a great little residential patch actually around Oregon Park where I'm sitting here today. Uh, but we're looking at this neighborhood because this is an area where you're probably gonna get out to eventually. You're probably gonna visit Kearns and you know go, go check out some restaurants, go walk around, things like that. So a lot of good entertainment in this area, very centrally located, uh, close to downtown, uh, just south of Lloyd Center. So north uh, of here is the Lloyd District. You're bordered by I-84. You also have the Hollywood District just to the east of here. So if you take Sandy Boulevard east, you're gonna get into Hollywood. Also, this neighborhood board borders Laurelhurst, which is a really cool, historic Portland neighborhood that for sure, if you were living in Laurelhurst, you would be getting over to Kearns, or if you lived here, you would be walking through Laurelhurst, uh, you know, just going for a walk, going to the park, whatever it may be. So then just south of here, you have Buckman, which is a neighborhood in Southeast Portland, a very popular neighborhood, a very popular place to go out. You have streets like Southeast Belmont and Southeast Stark, where you have a ton of great restaurants, iconic Portland restaurants, coffee shops, bars, shops, all the cool stuff. You know, definitely right in the heart of kind of the hip Southeast Portland areas that are really popular either for people to live or for people to go out and visit. I mean, if you live in Portland or really in the surrounding suburbs in Portland, you're gonna go out in Southeast Portland at least from time to time. And this little pocket in Kearns is certainly no exception. Hey, and if this is your first time to the channel or you've been here and you haven't already and you wanna get more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. All right, so again, Kearns isn't necessarily going to be an area where a lot of people end up living just because such is, it's such a small neighborhood. Uh, there is a section of Kearns where I am around Oregon Park here where you can find some really cool old craftsman homes, you know, really classic Portland architecture, four squares, uh, and you can get some really nice older properties in, in this neighborhood. Uh, not unlike areas like Irvington and other neighborhoods around here in Northeast Portland. But again, we're talking about Kearns because this is an area where you're probably gonna end up from time to time just going out, walking around. And uh, if we're gonna talk about housing here, the median sale price right now is about $600,000 in this area. So you really do get uh, a little bit of variety. But one of the biggest distinctions here in Kearns when you compare it to like Laurelhurst to the east or neighborhoods like Irvington and Grant Park to the north of here is that in Kearns, you're only looking at about 20% owner-occupied properties. So about 80% of the people living in Kearns um, are actually renting and don't own. So I've talked about it in other videos. That's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but it certainly clues you in as to what the dynamic here might look like. You know, if, if, it's, if it's a lot of renters, it's probably not a ton of families necessarily. It might be a lot of younger people, younger, younger professionals, for example, things like that. So. You know, we don't want to stereotype, uh, but I think, you know, when you look at that metric, you can at least kind of work backwards a little bit and get an idea of who's living in a particular area based on how or, or what the percentage of owner occupants is ver versus uh, the number of people that are renting. All right, so this is a very urban area. You have Interstate 84 running right through the middle of here, Sandy Boulevard as well. You have Burnside on the south side. Burnside is what separates north from south in Portland. So we are just north of Burnside in northeast Portland. And you also have 28th Avenue, which is kind of a sneaky little entertainment area with a ton of great restaurants. I mean, again, this is where 
you're probably going to end up going out to a restaurant at some point in Kearns, and it's probably going to be around the intersection of 28th and Burnside or 28th and Sandy. And again, really about half of the neighborhood is residential. The other half is all commercial development. So uh, there's a pretty clear distinction along Sandy Boulevard, where on the kind of the south side of Sandy or really east in the neighborhood, you have this residential area. Everything more west and north of Sandy, it's going to be more of the commercial development. It's also, uh, there's also a clear separation with Interstate 84, whereas, like I just said, Burnside is what separates north to south, but if you're here in Kearns, you're a little bit closer to or more accessible to getting into uh, a lot of the southeast Portland neighborhoods as far as entertainment goes because you have I-84, you're south of I-84 here still. You go north of 84, you get into the Lloyd District, you get into Irvington and Grant Park and Alameda and some, and some of those other close-in neighborhoods in northeast Portland. All right, time for a little history lesson brought to you by Wikipedia. The Kearns neighborhood dates back to the 1850s when the area's first homesteader, William Kearns, wielded axes and saws to clear his 320-acre donation land claim. Kearns earned a living making and selling wood shingles and shakes. By 1850, Kearns was elected by the local school district as its school director, and he led the effort to purchase land for Washington High School. So Washington High School is a super cool property. This was a public high school in Portland. All the Portland public high schools were named after presidents. Some have changed in recent years, but Washington High School has been closed for decades. And in the last uh, 10, maybe 12, 15 years ago, recently uh, the, the property was either bought or leased, but either way it was developed. And there is a music venue, there's restaurants, there's a coffee shop there. There's this big rooftop bar and event venue. It's a super cool place to see a show or just, or just go hang out. So that's just south of here in the Buckman neighborhood. If you lived in Currents, you could probably walk to Washington High School depending on uh, exactly where you lived. But there are some other attractions here here in Kern specifically, you have Oregon Park where I am right now. You have the Laurelhurst Theater, uh, which is technically in Kearns. Uh, you have uh, a community garden, which is really cool. There's a little park called Wally Park. And again, you also have this corridor on 28th Avenue uh, where you have a ton of great restaurants and breweries and uh, all the stuff that I mentioned. So there's a lot to do in this little pocket and definitely an area again where eventually if you're moving to Portland, you're definitely gonna be hanging out at some point. And if you are thinking about moving to Portland, if you wanna talk more about Portland neighborhoods, Portland suburbs, what it's like living here, what the process of buying a home here is like, especially moving from out of state or out of the area. If you wanna talk about any of that, give us a call send us a text, shoot us an email, or click the link down below in the description of the video. Schedule a Zoom call with us and we can chat more about it. If this video is helpful, make sure to hit the like button. That helps us out a lot. If you want to get more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the little bell to get notified every time we drop a new video. As always, we really appreciate you watching. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.